Hello friends, welcome to G-Centric. So, in this lecture, we will see the behavior of RLC at t is equal to 0 plus. Only we will do the response of the t is equal to plus for the three elements. Okay. Then we will see what will be uh, the response at t is equal to infinity. Okay. So, first we will take the resistance. Okay. We have an voltage source. Okay. And this symbol is called as switch. So, now if I, if there is no arrow here, then it is called as open switch. Okay. And resistor is there. Now, when I draw like this, okay, when I uh, do the arrow downwards, it means that this switch is a, it is in the closed position. Okay. There will be some amount of current flowing in this one. Okay. So, now this is V and this is R. Okay. So, this is called a switch. Now, if you see that we will take it as T is equal to 0. Okay. So, what will happen at T is equal to 0? That is before just closing the switch, we are taking the time. Okay. So, if this is the axis, here it is minus infinity and here it will be 0 minus. Okay. Somewhere this point and here it will be 0 plus and here it will be infinity. So, this part we are going to analyze and especially 0 plus. So, in this circuit we are talking this, talking about this 0 minus. So, this axis is 0, right. So, before getting into the 0 position there will be 0 minus. So, just before closing the switch this is called as T is equal to 0. So, some amount of current will be flowing in this case that is nothing but we will take it as I of 0 minus that is before closing the switch. So, what will be before closing the switch the circuit will be open right. So, I of 0 minus will be equal to 0 ok. So, I of 0 minus is equal to 0. So, when it is 0 then voltage across this V R what it will be that is also at 0 minus. So, V R of 0 minus will be equal to 0 because I into R series network right. So, I will be flowing here some amount I 0 minus when this is 0 I into R 0 into R will be voltage will be also 0. Coming to this circuit now we will analyze after closing the switch. So, that is at T is equal to 0 plus. So, what will happen at T is equal to 0 plus? There will be current flowing ok. In this case I of 0 plus will be I of 0 plus will be nothing but V by R right. So, when it is V by R then there will be some amount of voltage also present in it ok. So, what will be that voltage? V R of 0 plus is nothing but I of 0 plus times R. So, what is I of 0 plus? It is nothing but V by R ok. So, V R of 0 plus is equal to V. So, now what is the conclusion from this is ok we will write conclusion ok. So, conclusion is that when just before 0 minus and 0 plus ok just before closing the switch what was the current 0 what was the voltage 0 and after closing the switch just after closing the switch what is the current V by R and what is the voltage V ok. Here it is 0 and here it is V. So, this 0 minus and 0 plus will always be sometimes equal ok. So, almost nearer to the same values. So, what is the conclusion is that resistor, resistor will allow sudden change in the circuit. It will allow sudden change in the circuit. Whereas, energy storing elements we have seen that they will oppose the sudden change of current and voltage depending on either inductor or capacitor. We have seen in the in their behavior in DC analysis right. So, what is about this conclusion is that in transient resistor will allow the sudden change in the circuit. Inductor and capacitor will allow gradual change but not the sudden change. So, that is the conclusion for the resistor. Next we will come to the inductor part ok. So, we know that what is the voltage across the inductor? It is nothing but L di by dt right. So, we will write that L di by dt that is the voltage across the inductor then we will come for the 
using the circuit we will analyze t is equal to 0 minus n 0 plus. So now V of VL of t is equal to L DIL of t by dt right. So now I can write this as in terms of current you can take this as integration from minus infinity to t this is 1 by L it is I of t I L of t times dt. Now I can split this one as we have seen in the earlier lectures. So from minus infinity to 0 then from 0 to some time t right I L of t into dt. Now there is one more transition imposed in this uh, equation that is 0 minus n 0 plus. So we will split this again okay we will split this again this we will keep as it is okay we will take it up to 0 minus and it is I L of t into dt plus from 0 minus to 0 plus and here it is 0 plus 2 t ok. So we can write this split this equation as like this right. Now if I have to write for the analysis of 0 plus ok I will take I L of 0 plus ok. When I take I L of 0 plus what will happen to this one? This is nothing but it is indicating 0 minus. So this current will be from up to 0 minus. Now coming to this one ok there is a special case for this. This whole term from 0 minus to 0 plus it will be equal to 0 but every time it will be equal to 0 except for impulse ok except for impulse input what it will be it will not be equal to 0 the it will be equal to 1 right we have seen at t is equal to 0 integration of that area will give you 1 for the impulse ok only I will write here except impulse ok except for the impulse function this will be 0 and now here we are since we are analyzing up to t is equal to 0 plus so this term we will take as 0. So in general we excluding the impulse we will take this term also as 0 ok. Then we will see how it behaves in the impulse what will be the equation ok. For time being we will consider this as 0 ok we will write here as 0. Now what we are getting I L of I L of 0 plus is equal to I L of 0 minus right. So this is 0 plus to 0 minus we are getting the equal value. So now what is the conclusion here we can make is that same current same current flows ok at 0 minus and 0 plus that is why they are equal. So what is the conclusion that we can make? Conclusion is that inductor inductor does not allow sudden change ok. So inductor does not allow sudden change that is why we are getting from this transition to this transition what we are getting it is the same value ok. So basically from this to this transition that is from 0 minus to 0 plus this is defined as sudden change ok for some very very little amount of change or uh, time period ok we will take it as sudden change. So what does this inductor do? It will not allow the sudden change in the inductor right. Next it is also related to energy. So for energy also what we have? it will be same at 0 minus will be equal to energy at 0 plus. So now we will take the circuit analysis of this inductor ok. We will see when we close this switch at t is equal to 0 minus and 0 plus how it will behave ok. So for the analysis of the inductor we have taken the circuit ok there is plus minus voltage source ok we have taken the switch at t is equal to 0 and there will be 
inductor okay so inductor is the energy storing element right it is the energy storing element now before closing the switch okay before closing the switch that is just before zero minus what it would be it would be open circuit okay so when it is open circuit i of zero minus current flows in this one so what is i of i of zero minus current which is equal to zero because it is open so what will be vl of zero minus it will also be zero right so now i can write this i of zero as l into dil of zero minus dt which is nothing but equal to zero so what does it behave like open circuit right it behaves like open circuit okay because it is just before the closing of the circuit now once i take the switch as closed okay so when i close the switch it behaves like short circuit right okay it means that there is some amount of current flowing in that one so what it will be il of 0 plus now this is open circuit because we have already analyzed here it will be open circuit right so what will be il of 0 plus it will be zero okay current won't be here anything current through the inductor will be zero right but what will be voltage if it is open circuit will voltage be zero no there will be some amount of voltage okay let us take it as some v okay so now i can write this as il of zero as l into by dt okay this is at zero plus times that will be equal to v right so now dil of 0 plus upon dt i can write it as v by l okay so now what it is doing here it is not same right it is also 0 here it is v by l so gradual change it is allowing but not the sudden change okay so now there will be uh, if you take the practical inductor this is like ideal concept if you take the practical inductor there will be some energy already stored in the inductor before closing the switch also right we will see how it will impact on this one okay so when there will be i'll take this circuit diagram itself okay so when so when there will be some energy stored in the inductor before closing the switch itself so what will be the equation that we will get it is nothing but so this is switch some amount of current will be already flowing okay when you close the switch because of the energy stored previously in the inductor so when it is storing now the concept is that you have to take both short circuit okay that is because switch is already closed also you should take the open circuit condition because of this one okay so now how do you apply both of them if i redraw the circuit I have a voltage source and here it is short circuit and I should also have open circuit okay so then what is the use of I naught okay there is no current flowing in this one we, there is it is also open circuit okay so what we will do is we will add this current okay arrow is downwards so this will also be downwards so we will add a current source of the value I naught across this open circuit okay so now this is nothing but you can tell that it is active source no but it is not active source will not consider it as active source we will take it as temporary source okay so we will take the temporary source and you should keep in mind that direction will also be same okay so while applying both the condition for short circuit as well as open circuit now we will see what will be the uh, you know when we give the impulse what will happen to the circuit so we will analyze that okay so we'll come to this one we'll take the voltage okay so for this one when impulse is given what will be the current okay so when the voltage will be equal to input will be equal to impulse okay so now we have in the just now we have seen the derivation for il of 0 plus it will be equal to il of 0 minus 
and from here 0 plus dt and the third term was 0 this term was also 0 but it was for except for impulse. So now we have already given impulse function for this one okay as the input what will happen when it is given input the area that is bounded in between 0 minus to 0 plus it will be equal to 1 okay so here it is 1 by L right yeah okay so this will whole thing will be equal to 1 okay that is the condition for the impulse. So if I write the equation again it will be 1 by L okay so now it what does it mean it will here we can see that I L of 0 plus is not equal to I L of 0 minus right so similarly energy will also be not equal to 0 minus okay so what does it indicates that it is allowing some sudden change allows sudden change okay so this is in the case of impulse now that is the you know very much a beautiful thing about the transient okay analysis part okay sometimes it behaves like sudden change it will allow sudden change sometimes it does not allow sudden change you should know the cases where it allows sudden change and where it does not allow sudden change so since these both are not equal that means it is allowing the change in the circuit okay why we have calling this as sudden change because we are analyzing from 0 plus to 0 minus and if there is any change in from 0 minus to 0 plus then we will call it as sudden change okay so this was about the inductor now we will move on to the capacitor okay so coming to the capacitor we can write it as what is current i of t c dv of t divided by dt okay so if i want to write it in terms of vc of t then i have to go from minus infinity to integration t i of t into dt okay we will take this as ic of t into dt similarly i can split this one also okay so i can write this from minus infinity to uh, i can write this from minus infinity to 0 minus okay ic of t into dt plus 0 minus to 0 plus and from 0 plus to some time t okay i can write in this way now this is again this will be equal to 0 for but sorry for except for except for impulse right and this term it will be 0 because we are analyzing for 0 plus. So now what will be Vc of 0 plus so it will be only from this is nothing but Vc of 0 minus plus 0 okay. So you can conclude that Vc of 0 plus is equal to 0 minus so similarly for energy also it will be equal what does it mean does not allow does not allow sudden change okay when they are equal then it will not allow sudden change so how do we do the circuit analysis for this one if I take a voltage source okay and in this one I will add resistor also we I will te uh, tell you why resistor is added so this is V and this is switch R and capacitor ok so for this one before just closing the switch what it will be it will be an open circuit right so when it behaves like an open circuit so what current will be flowing in this one I will take this as open IC of 0 minus this is VC ok so IC of 0 minus will be 0 so VC of 0 minus will be also equal to 0 right so this is at the time T equal to 0 minus ok so now we will take the 0 plus so this will be short and here we have resistor and here we have capacitor ok this is closed ok so across this one it will be Vc of T right so what current will be flowing in this one I of 0 plus ok so when I of 0 plus is flowing in the circuit ok so what it will be 
i of 0 plus it will be having some value that is v by r so what how does this behave it will be short circuit okay for the capacitor it will be short circuited okay now if i hadn't taken the resistor what would happen it would violate the kvl rule because algebraic sum should be equal to 0 right it is not be equal to 0 it is violating the kvl so because of this resistor we have got v by r now what will be the capacitor voltage it will be equal to 0 right because there is no yeah so this is vc of t okay vc of 0 plus will be equal to 0 because there is it is a short circuit so what can i write for this one c d i by d t equal to v by r okay so this current i can take care of this this side it will be v by r into c okay so the at what time it will be 0 plus sorry this time period will be at 0 plus it will be like v by rc right this is v sorry this is v okay for the current we are substituting right here we were substituting for the current dvc by dt will be equal to v by r so when the c goes over here it will be v by rc so for what time period that is 0 plus okay now if you see here this vc of 0 minus is not equal to vc of 0 plus okay so now what will happen it is it is allowing the change in the current okay this is the when whenever you close the switch it will behave like a short circuit at what time at 0 plus okay so this resistor is added to not to violate the kvl rule okay so now we will see before so what it will be uh, if there is uh, some energy stored in the capacitor before closing the switch okay we will take that and we will analyze for the impulse also now if i take here a circuit okay and this is short circuit all right because it is already closed or i'll take it since we are analyzing okay i'll keep it open for now here is the resistor then we have a capacitor okay so this is c and this is r this is switch before closing what was the impact on the circuit we will analyze here okay there might be some amount of voltage across this one right how does it behave when we are taking both short circuit as well as open circuit both are shorted right that is because capacitor and this is switch okay so this is switch and this is here capacitor what will be the voltage across this one this is vc of t i'll take it as equal to v naught okay so the, i'll take this as v naught that is v of 0 minus will be equal to v naught which is equal to vc of t okay so this will be 0 if i redraw the circuit when we are considering both of them here it will be short here is the resistor and again here it is short we will add a source okay that we will call it as v naught because across this one it will be v naught only okay so this is again temporary this is temporary voltage source okay so the direction will also be same that is the polarity for this one will be same it will be in series but in inductor we had connected across the okay in parallel with the open circuit of the inductor okay so now we will see what will happen when we give the impulse for this one okay in this only we will see here when impulse is given here i have missed the 1 by c 1 by c okay so when 1 by c is here vc of 0 plus it will be equal to vc of 0 minus and since it is 0 here the integration will be for the impulse it will be equal to 1 so when it is equal to 1 plus 1 by c so the integration of the impulse will be equal to 1 now 
if I take this over here Vc of 0 plus equal to Vc of 0 minus plus 1 by C ok here you can see Vc of 0 plus is not equal to Vc of 0 minus similarly for the energy also Vc of 0 plus is not equal to minus energy in the minus that is because it is allowing the sudden change allow sudden change in the circuit ok so this is also the, about the capacitor analyzing for the behavior at t is equal to 0 plus so now we will see the uh, conclusion of all of these five elements ok so r is i mean five elements in the sense before storing the before closing the switch how much energy will be how much energy was present in the circuit ok we will take here element and this is the analysis for 0 plus so our first circuit was resistor so how was the resistor behaving it, there was no change for the transient right it would be r only next for the inductor how did it behave when we had given 0 plus it was open circuit for the capacitor it was short circuit ok when at t is equal to 0 plus next when there was some energy stored in the inductor I not so how was it behaving we have to add a current source in parallel with that ok this is for L next for the capacitor when there was V0 across this one before closing the switch so here it would be with the resistor right we have to take it with the resistor that you have to keep it in mind so this is polarity should be careful this is short circuit and this is open circuit ok so this was about the conclusion of the elements at t is equal to 0 plus and we will see how it behaves at t is equal to infinity thank you